So as I was driving down towards my chosen location for today, I happened across a wonderful tree about 50 metres across the road. Now these are the occasions where I would usually drive past, make a mental note and come back at some point in time where I thought I'm really early for my sunset locations. I thought I'll give it a go. Now as I was walking up I did see some issues with it. Now the issues being it's quite a busy tree. As you can see there's there are trees to the left and trees to the right. But there's just enough gap to the left and to the right for two compositions which I've already taken. I'll come on to that in a second. One is a square format because I do like a square format and another one is a 4x3 vertical photograph. Now the reason I took now the reason I've already taken the photograph he says there's, there's an extremely busy road behind the camera is that when I arrived I struggled with separation between the tree and the background. As you can see, the tree is composed in such a way so part of the tree is below the horizon and the main section of the tree, or the top of the tree, should I say, is in the sky. So I didn't get a lot of separation between the tree and the background. Now, as I was walking over, it started to rain. So A, I had to run back to the guy for my waterproof jacket and B, as the rain came through, the, the low-lying cloud hoved into view and it really did mute the colours and the contrast in the trees that you can see behind it. I will take a, a before and after. I'll take one. As I, as I visualised it, a really lone tree isolated from the background and one where there is no real separation. And separation does matter. You don't want your, your, your main focal point blending into the background. Otherwise, it just doesn't have the same impact it would otherwise have. It's a lovely tree. I think if, it, if, I think if the top was symmetrical, as in circular or spherical, it wouldn't have the impact because, the, but because and I believe... Yeah, the, the right hand side at the top used to have a branch which obviously contained um, leaves. As fallen off, you've got a, an interrupted pattern of, at the top and because the base, the trunk is really extended, it really does stand out from the background. As I said, I would normally drive past and think I'll catch that at a later date and then forget where it is and uh, yeah, not come back. But I thought I'll drive up, turn around and capture the photograph. So there you are. If you see something in the surroundings and you have time, pull over, capture it.
Yeah, so what follows, it's what I visualized and I do struggle with pre-visualization. Yeah, that really is a lovely, lovely tree. On to my chosen destination. New bag, by the way. It's about half the weight of my previous bag. Oh. <laughs> 